Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. appreciate you being here um, before I get started go ahead and hit that like button because it helps the channel grow and if you haven't joined the family go ahead and join we would love to have you here so I hope you're doing good today I'm doing great I'm in here planting inside because it's a little chilly outside today and I'm just not in the mood so I have this 36 cell that I'm about to plant in here I already did the 72 cell and Today I will be doing some strawberries and the strawberries are going to take 90 to 110 days um, once they start to germinate. So it's going to take 12 to 15 days for it to germinate and then after it germinates it's going to take another 90 to 110 days which will put me right at spring and ready to transplant into the ground and hopefully I'll have some decent transplants to do that. This right here, this tray is sitting, this cell is sitting inside of a tray to catch the water or soil or whatever. So um, this pack right here, it was low on some soil. It came with the soil and everything already in it. So all you have to do is wet it drop the seeds and leave it alone. So I had to add some extra soil to it because I bought this at the end of the season for like $1 from Dollar General. Great places to find your bargains from. I feel like I need more light in here. So the directions on this bottle right here is what I'm gonna be watering with. The directions that were on the pack right here says to um, wet your soil with warm water is the best thing because then when you're putting I'm assuming when you put your seeds in you know your seeds don't go into shock or anything like that so I'm gonna wet this down you want a grocery store? I don't know what you mean you don't know? Did you say anything to me about going to the grocery store? What the hell you got going on in that jug? With a pipe. <sighs> What's that? I wouldn't have to do so many voiceovers if this man would not cuss as much. So I'm also gonna put some water at the bottom. That way I don't have to water this again once I put the seeds in. Cause you don't wanna shift your seeds around. It'll drink it up from the bottom. And I'm not putting a lot, just a little. Just a little. So what you would do next is either use your finger to put the hole in or the tip of a pencil. Nothing really big and nothing too deep. This is what the, um, this is how the strawberry seeds look. You're gonna try to drop two in. It's gonna be difficult because they're so tiny, y'all. So, here we go. And once they get a little wet, I didn't even put the holes in because they're so tiny. You can see it. So two to three in each cell is good. Would love for this whole tray to germinate. Oh Lord, I put like four in one that I didn't want to do. So here are the strawberry seeds. And all I'm going to do now is just take my finger, see if you can see what I'm doing, 
and just kind of push it down and cover it. I'm not trying to do this by looking through the camera, so it's a little difficult, but you get the idea. So let me finish that up. And we're gonna cover these up. And remember, I don't have to put water on the top because I have water in the bottom. I already wet my soil before I put the uh, seeds in here. If you don't want to, I would say if you don't want to put your hand in this dirt, wear some gloves, y'all. I mean, you can still water it if you want to, but do not use um, water that's going to come out the spout or something really heavy because then your seeds are gonna move around. So now I'm just gonna, this is warm water. This is rain water. I have um, my cooler outside that I've been collecting um, the rain water in along with some other buckets. And I just put this in there and got the water out and then I warmed it up because I didn't wanna shock my seeds with cold water. So I'm just gonna lightly, not even squeeze the bottle, just let it drip out to get that water because some of the soil didn't get wet when I did it earlier. And all the seeds are covered. And now I'm gonna move on to the next thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my egg carton ones because they, they were just remind me of egg cartons. Right here. And these are little seed starter pots. I also got these for like a dollar or maybe 75 cents. I can't remember. But I'm just going to do two of these because I don't have a little bit of space and I have to put my lamp, my clamp light up here. So I'm going to fill this with uh, soil and I will be right back. So that little glare over there, that's because of the ring light that I have on. This will be on until 12 o'clock midnight. And that'll be 16 hours. So I'm gonna fill this um, while I'm recording so you can see what I'm doing. And I brought the wrong glove in to fill it. Okay, so when I'm filling my dirt, when I'm filling my pots, that is, and these are the seed starters. So what I did was I went and I bought some seed starting potting mix because it's gonna give you a great start also good for um, starting your cuttings and things like that. Okay. Um, try not to make a mess because I am in my house. I usually do this outside. We're going to see. If it's a mess to be made, I'm going to make it. Feel what you're doing. You don't know how much you got in your hand. And when you tamp down, you can't feel the depth to see if you need to add more soil. That's one reason I don't like using gloves, but I don't know why I put that glove on. Okay. So I started gardening because I started in March. Um, well, actually, I started in April right after um, everything started happening in the world and you start seeing things disappear out of the stores. And you notice a lot of people doing stuff that they weren't already doing. So seeds were disappearing, all kinds of stuff. And if you want to start with buying starts out of the store, go right ahead. There's no shame in that. It is okay to do that. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. Even though I have this 
If something don't pan out with what I'm doing, guess what? There are options to still do this. So let me wet this down and see if I need to add any more soil to it. Some people would not wet it down first. They just put their seed in and then wet it just to keep from having to deal with this. Oh, that's my middle finger, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm not giving y'all the middle finger at all. Oh, God. What am I doing? It's just so much convenient. It's more convenient to use the middle finger when you're patting this down. I don't know why. Like you don't use your middle finger for anything else, do you? Let me know in the comments. Okay, I think I need to add some soil over here. So I'm trying not to make this a long video. This is gonna be the last little section that I do in dropping the seeds. Um, just because I have so much that I have to do of getting my yard cleaned up and those leaves blown and put into bags that I can't, I can't think straight, no. But I will be recording. I will do a weekly update on my seedlings, if they've come up, which ones came up first, because they're not all gonna come up at the same time, y'all. Even if you plant them on the same day. And make sure you label. Like I have these labels here, but you can use popsicle sticks if you don't have them. And date them. Label and the date them. So these are the bell pepper seeds that I saved, red and yellow. So I don't know which one's gonna be what, because I put them all in the same bag. And I'm gonna try to, I think I have enough to do like two or three into each cell because I wanna try to increase I'm already dry. I already dropped three in that one without trying. This is what they look like. So you can see. And I'm just gonna Do about three in each. If four drop, just leave it. And that's with anything that you're doing from seed. Because guess what? What if one don't, what if one don't start growing? What if three don't start growing? You know, did I miss any? No, I got them all covered. So I'm not, I'm not, I still have seeds left, y'all, to plant for a different day. And once these start growing and get to a certain um, size, then I'll plant some more of these. And what I'll do is I will just, see now I'm covering it. I guess I can show you that. Okay, so all I'm doing is covering with light soil until you don't see and pressing down just a little bit, just a little bit. If you need to go back and sprinkle some more soil over it because you didn't have enough, that's just fine. It's not gonna hurt nothing. And that's all you're gonna do on that. So I'm gonna finish doing that, but um, and then I'm going to show you my light over it. You need to get your shoes on so we just trash that. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? So let's go ahead and clean it up, man. Why are you going back out there on that floor? Okay, so this is my setup now that I'm done with um, 
the collard greens over here, tomatoes, cucumbers that I did on the 4th of January. Today is the 5th of January. And then I just did the strawberries with y'all and I did the sweet bell peppers with y'all as well. And so I'm about to put just a little bit more water right here. Excuse my kids in the background arguing when they know I'm recording. And then I have my setup with my clamp light. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it so that it's no more than two inches above. And I'm going to pull this table out so I can put this over here and it'll cover both of those areas. And I'll show you. So now I have it right here. I'll probably get another clamp light. I need at least two of them, but y'all, those clamp lights are like $10 a piece. And then the bulbs, I got the um, CFL fluorescent bulb, but I got the EcoSmart one right here. So you can see, you see how y'all have to deal with with these kids teenagers you want to make sure is at least 1600 um, lumens in it anywhere from 1600 to 3000 lumens is all the grow light you need so I hope y'all enjoyed the video including the arguing and because of the arguing go ahead and like this video y'all give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and as Skinny Boy says, just don't give me the middle finger. <laughs> Stuff, I love that. So y'all, y'all take care. I love y'all. Remember that God loves you more. Um, go out and spread God's love for distance. Now you gonna blame me when you was playing full on football. You gave it to me. How do you know you didn't get it from them and gave it to me? Cause I had no symptoms. Cause you young. You and how did I give it to them? You didn't give it to them. How do you know you didn't get it from playing? Because you don't want to start feeling bad first. That don't mean nothing. It's a dude, that means you had it first. And you gave it to me. Hey son, you could have. I think, put it you know, on me. I think I got it though from when we was at your senior night and we had to take our mask off and stuff. Well, that means you gave it to me. Because I got sick right after that. You gave it to me. Shut up, Kassan. <laughs> Leave me alone. Bro.